from Trucker for a Cure. How are we doing today, Jay? I'm doing good. How are you, Bruce? So what's going on for 2019, kiddo? Well, <laughs> we're pretty excited. It's our 10th anniversary for yeah. Trucking for a Cure, and uh, we're slowly but surely getting moving forward and trying to get ahead of the game. Uh, I know we're kind of behind it this year, yeah, yeah. but uh, we're getting our stuff together, and uh, we're getting excited. We've got a lot of exciting things that are going to be happening on the day of the convoy, and we just can't wait to share it with everybody. So, okay, so we're at um, RJS Motorsports. Is this your official launch for the Pinky Tour going on here? Yeah, this is our first event we've attended okay. this year, and um, we have RJS Motorsports. They're, they've taken the pledge, yeah. and they're uh, joining us in our fundraising, and his race car is going to be racing uh, cancer at one lap at a time, so we're pretty excited. I've gotten to see the car already. I yeah. kind of got a sneak preview of it yeah. before anybody else, and... Uh, I think people are going to be really surprised with uh, with the, the launch and the new look of the car and everything else. So now we see you on the road and we're going to see you on the track, right? So that's well, good. You, you might not see me on the track, but you'll see me in the crowd cheering Bob on, for right? Sure, so, sure. uh, you know, it's pretty amazing what they're doing and how much time and effort they're put into it yeah. and everybody else. And we just want everybody to know, every you know, we appreciate when people do this stuff for us and they come forward. We've got uh, the 519 Loud and Proud. Yep. Um, Jay and his team have decided that this year their truck pulls okay. are going to be uh, fundraising for our cause as well. Okay. So, you know, uh, the grassroots of these truckers are amazing, yep. and they're the reason why this keeps going every year. And more and more of these drivers and different events that drivers are actually putting on yep. are coming forward and, and really putting it out there for us. So we really appreciate it. Okay, so we have this one. Uh, um, you, you guys. I'm not sure if you're. I don't think you're at Expo Cam, were you? I didn't know no, you were. I, I, unfortunately, I couldn't make it this right. year. So we'll be back at Truck World. Okay. Um, you know, we were kind of sad that we couldn't go, but uh, sure. um, you know, um, Joe from Newcom, yeah. great guy. He tried to figure out every way, and <laughs> and it's really hard. It's been a rough year this year. The truck's been, you know, in and out of the shop, and uh, you got to some days realize you need to make a living too right yeah. so uh we, this this is what we decided and and it you know um a lot of these shows take so much time yeah. from us that uh you know we love it there and we love hanging out with everybody yeah, yeah. but this year we decided not to go but we'll be at truck world next year yeah. and uh everything will be back on track with that and uh um the team is all together we've had a few meetings and uh if anybody out there wants to be a part of our committee, uh, our volunteers, please reach out to us. Yep. You know, the more the merrier, and and everybody, and, and as well as students. You know, we're allowed to give community hours, yep. so you can make it a family affair and uh, come join our team. You know, we're getting old. We need some young people in there to help. Uh, you know, push us in the wheelchairs and get us going. Right, but uh, right. we really, you know, we appreciate everything, and especially you and and Carmen Bruce. You've been hanging in there and putting up with us for... Oh, gee. Let me go on about that. <laughs> I don't want to get that going again. He already no. gave me heck in the, in the building. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Bruce is very patient with us, and we appreciate that. Yeah, and it's a good cause. You guys are good people, and uh, you're doing a lot of good stuff. So, okay, so we've got RJS, um, um, the um, 519 Loud and Proud. Uh, you're going to be at... Uh, are you going to the Great Canadian Truck Show? That's yep, uh, July? Uh, yeah. Uh, the Great Canadian have moved their truck show into July this yeah. year. It's at Flamborough again. Uh, I do believe it's the weekend of the 27th. Right, yeah, right, right. And then we've got our friends from the Great Lakes truck show. Yeah. That's the, the last weekend in June, the, June yeah. the 1st of July weekend. Yeah. And yeah. we've like it's actually their 10th anniversary as oh, well. Wow. Wow. And wow. this year the, the feature truck of the year is uh, um, Western Star. So... Hopefully we see some pretty awesome looking Western stars coming in there. And those guys, you know, they're a community event as well. Yep. And yep. they help their local community in that. And they've been great supporters. Like All these truck shows that uh, invite us to be a part of it, you know, it, it, this is what helps us, right? Yeah. And these guys are great for always, you know, letting us be a part of it. It's not, a, you know, I'm the only, as they call it, slant nose truck that yeah, is yeah, allowed yeah. in the Great Lakes yeah. truck show. Right, yeah. It's not a classic, but yeah. they make an exception because it's pink, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so you know, Chris Hall and and everybody there, we you know we have to thank them too, right? Yeah. And so, okay, and then you've got big rigs in August. Big 
and it's a big show for you guys all the time and a fun show. And, and September 20th is the only one you've got confirmed for Woodstock, right, for the convoy? Uh, 21st, 21st, no, uh, September 14th is... Uh, the Prescott one. Also, oh, Prescott's it's been confirmed. Okay. Location. Okay. It might still be in Prescott this year, but we're 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 just waiting for confirmation. You know, from the location that we had it in in Brockville two years ago, okay. and uh, but the date is definitely September fourteenth, okay. and and Woodstock uh, the tenth anniversary. It's a tenth anniversary for all the trucking for here, but that's where the big celebration. Is. And and also this year. Um, Anybody that attends the Prescott one that would like to attend the Woodstock one just to be a part of the celebration, um, if you, if one payment. So if you go to uh, Prescott, you pay your registration, that gets you into both locations. Oh, great, great. So that's a great way of doing it. And of course, you can always fundraise for both, right? Because both oh, need yeah. all the money, right? Yeah, and I heard there's quite the challenge out there. There's, you know, a lot of people, um, especially at the Woodstock one, you know, that number one spot yeah, yeah. it seems to be the same three and four people yeah. and uh barb taylor with hyman transport and uh ava yeah. uh they call her driverette yeah. she's with west coast and uh haley they're all doing a big they're <laughs> they're re they're all trying to go for that ten thousand dollar goal wow. so and and prescott we've you know of course we got the taca berries and yeah. and superior propane and andy bell and them guys and you know they're getting up there yeah. Woodstock better watch themselves because those guys are really starting to fundraise. Oh, wow, wow. So we're really excited. You have a total for the year. How, how much did we do last year? I think I'm not sure. It was just it was just over a hundred thousand. I think it came in at one uh, one hundred and three. Yeah. So and and that's including our our you know our major sponsor service equipment and uh, and as of to date we've raised seven hundred and eighteen thousand. For the, the the you know well the Canadian Breast Cancer right. Foundation, which is actually now part of the Canadian Breast or I mean the Canadian Cancer Society, right. they merged together last year in March. And and well now that we're talking about it, what we're what we are going to do this year, because there's so many different cancers, not everybody that comes to our event is all about breast cancer. Right. Since they've merged, we're going to give the drivers the opportunity or sponsors or whoever wants to be a part of it to donate directly to a certain cancer if okay. they want. Now last year we started it with childhood cancer yeah. and we donated directly to them and all our proceeds. So if you ever see us anywhere out there, all kids apparel, 100% of the proceeds go to childhood cancer. So last year we gave them a check for 1500 and we didn't advertise it. So hopefully this year we'll be able to give them a check a lot bigger than 1500 Wow. Well, listen, keep up all the good work. Truckingforacure.com is where we go to get all the information. Yeah. And as soon as she gives it to me, I'll put it up there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much, Joanne. Keep <laughs> I had to because it's the only way I get any fun. <laughs> Thanks.